All right, folks. What we have here is a small EDC keychain flashlight by Mech Army. It's called the Illuminex X4. It's a Cree powered flashlight that runs on a small lithium ion battery. Um, Want to do a quick review, but before I do, why don't y'all go grab yourself a nice cold one? Come on back and we'll get started. All right, hopefully everybody made it back. Before we open this up, I'm going to show you a uh, lithium ion 10 8, oh, I'm sorry, 10180 battery. Here it is next to a uh, 18650. So you can see it's a it's a big and it's I mean it's a little in compared to this one. This uh flashlight actually has a self-charging port in it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at that. See right here is the uh it's USB chargeable. Let's see if I can go ahead and zoom in on this and I'll let you guys see that. You can see the knurling on the flashlight. It's made out of aluminum. It comes with a ball chain. I got it at Going Gear for 24.90. There will be a um link below to Going Gear. Let's see how we're going to get this thing open. Just some specs. This thing goes up to 130 lumens on its high setting and has a runtime of just under an hour. And on its low setting, it's uh, six lumens. Hopefully, the battery. Oh, look, it comes with a split key ring. Hopefully, the battery that comes with this flashlight is charged. I bought the other battery uh, as a spare. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. And when you do that, you can see the battery. Well, that thing does not want to come out, does it? Here, we're just going to leave it in there. But uh, here is the USB charging port. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that. And then you go ahead and you just plug a USB cord in there, like you would if you were charging your phone. Let's go ahead and see if this thing is uh, is charged up. Otherwise, we're going to have to switch the battery out. And I got this about a week ago, two weeks ago, and it's uh, just been sitting on the desk. I kind of forgot about it. And it looks like uh, it's not charged, so that's, that, that kind of sucks. That's kind of boring. Let's see if we can switch this battery out. All right, I'm back. And unfortunately for me, it looks like I bought that other battery for nothing. This does not look like you can replace the battery. So that's a little bit of a strike against it. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in a little better. So this is actually sealed on top of the battery. And then here's a charging port that goes in, so it's not going to come out of there. And uh, the battery is housed in here. And this cannot be unscrewed. So that kind of sucks. Let me go ahead and charge this. It says it can quick charge in an hour. And then uh, we'll be back. All right, folks. I did something that I never recommend you do, and that's read the instructions. And when I did, what I saw was this thing. And it said, please remove the protect sheet at the end of the battery before use. And then I read the instruction manual, if you want to call this a manual, and what I found out is, is that this flashlight does come apart, the end cap does come off, and then uh, you can remove the battery, here's the battery that came with it. And then this little piece of plastic film was in the back of the flashlight, covering the contact, and as a result, the flashlight wouldn't go on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this back together. And I'm really happy that you can take it apart like that and switch the, the battery out because it only has uh, about an hour runtime. So I want to carry a spare battery with me if I EDC this flashlight. And I was pretty bummed when I was thinking that it wouldn't. Um, it also comes with a spare O ring in addition to the split key ring and this ball chain that I'll never use. Okay, so here we are. We're on. And I guess that's its high setting which is supposed to be 130 lumens now it says that that beam goes 60 meters or 59 meters this would be its low and then that would be off so to turn it on you just rotate the bezel to low and then to high so it's a pretty short video it's a pretty small light there's not much to it it's very lightweight it's aluminum uh, I got this one because it's blue and I like blue so I'm gonna put this on my keychain it's gonna become my new EDC light very happy to hear that uh, I can switch the battery in and out. And uh, when you go ahead and you charge this by unscrewing the top and you plug your cable in there, you get a green light. And I'll rotate um, a picture in now. You get a little green LED light to tell you that you're, that, uh, you're, you're charging. So anyhow, that's it, folks. Pretty quick video. Thanks, everybody.